Hi friends, this is Julie Tillman. Welcome to my channel. Today I am taking part in an inspiration hop with my fellow design team members from the Not Too Shabby Shop. And we are uh, featuring our uh, October, <laughs> it's already October, can you believe that? October subscription products. And um, the whole playlist, there's a link to the playlist in the description box below where you can play all the videos in one shot, or um, you can click the hashtag N2S October 24 in the title of this video, and it will bring you to all the videos in our hop. Um, there is a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby Shop up for grabs, so you'll want to click the uh, giveaway link in the description box to enter and be sure to hop around and uh, click the like subscribe whatever um, if you enjoy what you're seeing so anyways I am going to be showing you product or showing you projects that I've made with the paper pad club of the month um, it includes the pink Christmas pad and the Christmas in gold paper pad. And these are just beautiful. The Christmas in gold is a very elegant um, feel to it. And pink Christmas is really unique because it has both, like, it's got an equal amount of elegant and whimsical. So you can kind of mix up your cards and make them how you want. And I really enjoy that. The um, Pink Christmas has an add-on ephemera, which is just beautiful, and it does have some gold uh, snowflakes that are perfect for this Christmas in Gold collection. The um, stamp and die of the month this month is the Vintage Santa, and it is so fun with a couple Santa images, and then sentiments that say, believe in the magic of Christmas, ho, ho, ho. Santa Surveillance, that one must be still in my stamp positioner. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And dear Santa, just leave your credit card under the tree. And then it has a couple um, snowflake stars that you can stamp with. And there are add-on dies. If so, um, first I'm gonna show you the stuff that I made with the Pink Christmas. I had already shared these on my blog, but here is my Santa Claus card, and I went more elegant with this. I like to dress up my paper sometimes with a little glossy accents, and I sprinkle some glitter on it, and it just gives a little more texture, definition to the patterns. Here I just used some gold foil and just made the paper shine. I used some of the die cuts from the... Um, I believe it's the add-on number one to the Easy One Dirt Die, and then I added some snowflakes with some uh, pearl, well, liquid pearls. So I used a similar layout with this one, just moved where the um, square lined up. And this one I used rose gold with the darling little uh, snowflake or snowman and the pink snowflakes. I added some pink snowflake glitter and embossed the sentiment from the stamp of the month in pink. And I just really like how that uh, turned out, how both of these turned out. So that is the cards I made. I have also made this cute little, um, it's like a gift card holder card. I haven't finished the inside yet, but it's like a mini slim line and you just slide out the gift card and I made it like it looks like a little present and then I um, added some presents behind and then presents and the little snowman in front and I um, this is actually the for you is from uh, a little peek at what is coming up on the 15th so um, that is that. Let me grab my um, Christmas in gold cards and I will All be right back. So I made a group of uh, cards and gift card holders with the Christmas in black. No. Christmas in black and gold? <laughs> I just forgot the name of the thing. Christmas in gold. It's just Christmas in gold. 
So anyways, these papers are so fun. I loved these stars. And um, I really like to look at the flowers in the florals and see what I can cut, cut out, do some fussy cutting. So I layered some fussy cuts from the paper pad um, here for a little floral garland. This is like a, I think, me and my big ideas chipboard thing from my stash that I've had many years. And I just added some gold. Um, and it's a pretty straightforward layout, but I really love the shine. I used some of the sparkle enamel dots for the um, centers of those flowers. And I really like how that turned out. This next card uses Joy, and it's from a, it was like a stamp of the month from last year, Deer Critters or something like that. Anyways, um, I embossed that in gold here and used one of the Easy Wonder Die number one cuts here. Um, sometimes with pattern paper, I like to just layer little scraps that I have and make a shape and make that kind of the focal point. So here I layered a couple of pieces of the uh, two papers and then I used a ticket punch for the corners, added some gold matting, some um, washi tape and some pinstripes. And then I used a gold doily to like really accent things. It looks really, really bright on screen, I think, but um, and then I just used the snowflakes in the background and I really enjoyed making that one. Oh, this is a deer embellishment. I think I was from Target Dollar Spot like several years ago and I just uh, painted it in gold and added some glitter. And then here's another one. I used a bunch of scraps, little tiny, I think they're half inch scraps and I just um, just layered them all on to some cardboard and then a uh, die cut with a rectangle die and the believe in the magic is from another stamp of the month from last year I think it was elegant Christmas and um, I added a chipboard uh, glittered up tree I guess it's wooden these are wooden embellishments not chipboard but anyways I love that floral pattern it's so pretty and here's like um those beautiful florals they're just so so gorgeous i'm just in love with them so i made some just really quick uh simple um gift card holder envelopes this is just using the envelope punch board from we are memory keepers just uses the measurements it says on the <laughs> on the product and then i just made some uh little uh i think they're three by six and you fold them in half and um, just use some background paper, cut out some florals. And this is the, one of the stamps in the stamp of the month and it has dies that cut it and I embossed it in black. On the inside, I just layered some uh, papers over. This is actually a big deer print. And so I thought this was a good way to use it up <laughs> because you, it just looks like a cool background. You can't really see that it's like a huge deer print. So that's a good way to use it in smaller projects. And um, this is just some washi tape that I had and a gift card holder die from my think Jaded Blossom. And so I did a similar thing here with this one. Aren't those ornaments just so super cute? Yes, I love them. And then this is the deer. I just um, die cut one of the deer from the paper. I just loved that and wanted to make it a focal point. So I just layered it up, um, made another. I made this going the other direction and um, added some paper banners and that's more of that deer paper but I loved the tops of these trees so I thought it was a really great um inside more washi tape and so those are my projects with the Christmas in gold collection and my um pink Christmas 
projects as well. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're inspired. I have a lot more to share with you this month. So stick with me and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If you have a moment, please be sure to check the description box below for a link to the giveaway, a link to the other videos. I've also have a link to my blog post and to the products that I've used today. I hope I inspired you and I will see you next time.